What is CNC? CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. It is a process of using computers to control machines that can create parts from various materials. CNC machines can perform different operations such as milling, turning, drilling, cutting, engraving, and 3D printing. CNC machines are widely used in manufacturing, engineering, art, and hobby. What is G-Code? G-Code is a programming language for CNC machines. It consists of commands that tell the machine what to do and parameters that specify the details of the operation. For example, G01 is a command for linear movement, and X, Y, and Z are parameters for the coordinates of the destination. G-code commands are also called words. Each word consists of a letter and a number. For example, G01 is a word with G as the letter and 01 as the number. The letter indicates the type of command and the number indicates the specific command. G-code words are grouped into blocks. Each block is a line of code that contains one or more words. Each block represents one action or movement of the machine. Blocks are separated by line breaks or semicolons. CNC Simulator Pro is a software that simulates CNC machines and their operations. It allows you to create, edit, and run G-code programs on a virtual machine with realistic graphics. You can also use it to design parts with CAD tools and generate G-code with CAM tools. CNC Simulator Pro plays an important role in teaching CNC all over the world because it is affordable and accessible. You can download it for free from cncsimulator.com and use it on any Windows PC or laptop. You don't need to buy or maintain expensive CNC machines or tools. It is safe and easy to use. You can learn and practice CNC programming and machining without risking injury or damage to the machine or the workpiece. You can also undo, redo, pause, resume, and debug your program at any time. It is versatile and customizable. You can choose from a variety of CNC machines, tools, materials, and settings to suit your needs and preferences. You can also create your own custom tools and materials. It is educational and fun. You can learn the basics and advanced concepts of CNC programming and machining with interactive tutorials, exercises, and videos. You can also challenge yourself with different projects and scenarios. Let's get started with the tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to teach the basic concepts of how to use CNC Simulator Pro. We are going to make a very simple part, milling a slot and drilling four holes on a 100 by 100 by 20 millimeter workpiece. For simplicity, we are going to ignore radius compensation and we work only in absolute coordinates. This is the part we are going to make. First of all, we need to set millimeters as units and load an appropriate machine for our project. From the main menu, Select Settings and click on Program Settings. Ensure that you have millimeters selected, as this tutorial is made in millimeters. Click OK to close the Settings dialog. Click File, Load Machine from the main menu or click the Open Machine button. Click on the Milling button. Please deselect Load Example. Then click on the Milling Center Machine. Click the Load button. Fine. Now let's get started by defining our workpiece. Press F2 on the keyboard to open the Inventory Browser. Click on the Mill Workpieces tab at the top of the dialog. Click on the Add New button to add a new workpiece. In the Workpiece Name field, enter a name for your new workpiece. Let's call it Tutorial 1. Enter X, Y, and Z sizes as 100, 120. Take a mental note of the workpiece index number. Here we did not have any workpieces before in the registry, hence the index number became 1. In your case, the number could be different. Ignore the rest of the settings and close the inventory browser. Now we need to call up our new workpiece from the program. We do that by using the command dollar add reg part, followed by the workpiece index number, we use 1, and the table displacement values. You can also click the insert at cursor button to automatically insert the command at the cursor in the editor. 
We are going to put our new workpiece 30 millimeters from the machine zero in both X and Y. The machine zero is placed near the lower left corner of the machine table, and it is marked by a visual symbol. To call up our workpiece number one, or your index number if different, on X30Y30 from the machine zero, we write dollar ad reg part one, 30, 30. Now you can go ahead and click on the play button, simulation start, to see that your workpiece shows up on the table. In the lower toolbar, click this button to zoom in on the machine table. At this moment, note that you can click on the simulation window with the left mouse button and drag the mouse around to rotate the view. If you click with the right mouse button and drag, you will pan the view. Also, please note that you can roll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay, let's get started with the actual CNC program. As we move the workpiece in on the machine table and away from the machine zero, our lower left corner on the workpiece is now at X30Y30. That is not very practical. So let's move the programming zero point to X30Y30Z20. This will result in a zero point at the top of the Z, lower left corner, XY, of the workpiece. We move the programming zero point by using the G code G92. This can also be done from a zero point registry using G54 to G59 but that is out of the scope of this tutorial. Type G92, X30Y30Z20 in the editor. Click on the play button again and note how the zero point moves to the corner of your workpiece. Now we need tools to mill the 10 mm wide slot and drill holes with a diameter of 10 mm. Again, press F2 on the keyboard to open the inventory browser or select settings inventory from the main menu. In this tutorial, we assume you have no previous custom made tools. If you do, please add these two new tools at the end of your list and use the tool index you get. Select my milling tools and click on the add button. First, we will add the tool to mill the slot. Enter the name of the tool Tutorial 1 Flat Mill. Select the flat tooltip and enter 10 as diameter and 50 as length. Ignore all other settings and click OK. In our case, this new tool will get tool index number 1. Take note of yours. Now we repeat the procedure adding the drilling tool. Click the add button again. This time, select a pointed tool tip and enter diameter 10, length 50, and tip angle 80 degrees. Name it, Tutorial 1 Drill. Click OK. Close the tool browser. Congratulations! Now we have a workpiece and tools and can start programming the rest of our part. To call up our new milling tool, we use T1 or your tool index number, followed by M06 to tell the virtual machine to go to its tool change position and execute the tool change. Next, let us move the tool to the start position. We have decided to use the lower left corner of the slot as the start, where we will drill down into the material. We use G code G00 to move with rapid speed to the position stopping 2 mm over the workpiece. Write G00X15Y15Z2. Note, the G00 command is a rapid positioning command that moves the tool quickly to the specified position at the maximum speed available. When G00 is used, the machine will move as fast as it can from the current position to the specified position without regard for the path taken or the material being cut. This command is used to move the tool quickly and efficiently between two points without performing any cutting operations. Now, press play to verify that the positioning works.
We now enter the G-code G01 for feed movement down to the cutting depth. We also need to start the spindle with M03 and set the feed rate F and spindle RPM, S. Write G01Z5F250S2000 M03. Note, G01 is a G-code command that is used to move the tool along a straight line from the current position to a specified target position at a specified feed rate. This is known as a linear interpolation or a linear move. Now we will move the mill to the start point of the arc. There is no need to type G01 in this block as the code is modal, meaning it will remember the G01 code from the previous block. Write Y70. From now on, feel free to click the play button at any time to check the simulation. Next, let's program the clockwise arc movement. To do so, we use the G02 code, followed by the XY coordinates of the end point and the IJ coordinates of the relative center point. I stands for incremental distance from starting point to center in X, and J is the same in Y. Write G02X30Y85, I15J0. Great, let's enter the rest of the blocks to finish the slot. Write G01X85, Y15, X15. How about that? We are back to where we started. Let's go up in Z to a safe position and then change the tool for the drilling operation. Write G00Z2, T2M06. Let's simulate to see the progress so far. Click on the play button to start the simulation. Now we can come back from the tool change position and put the drill over the first hole. Write G00X30Y30Z2. Next, we will start a drill cycle. We only need to start it and then it will drill on each position we program until we tell it to stop. For this, we use a common drilling can cycle G code called G81. We tell the cycle to drill to a total depth of 15 millimeters and a start depth of one millimeter above the workpiece. As we have changed the tool, we need to start the spindle again with M03. This time, let us also use coolant water, M08, to not overheat the tool. Write G81Z15R1M03M08. Now we can just position over each hole center and the drilling will start automatically. Write Y70, X70, Y30. Next, we need to end the drilling cycle using the G80 code. Write G80. Finally, we go up in Z and write M30 to end the program. Write Z50 M30. Congratulations. You have created your first CNC program in the famous CNC Simulator Pro software. That's it for this tutorial on how to get started with milling using CNC Simulator Pro. You have learned how to create a simple project, set up the machine parameters, load a tool, write a G-code program, and simulate the machining process. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching and happy milling.